Hello guys In this video uh, I will try to go into details and speak about some myths about the trend Okay, a lot of misconceptions misconceptions a lot of uh, concepts that are false and some swing traders or uh, what we call trend followers they do the same mistakes and because what they read because what the other guru are saying because of what uh, the social media and the other uh, influential uh, people in the stock market or in this brokerage firms business okay they say a lot of mistakes now I will explain to you what are these mistakes in order to uh, to get an idea uh, when you are following a trend now uh, one of the guys last session he told me that he has read and see a lot of information that uh, let's say we should uh, at certain point we should exit the trade a certain percentage for example <coughs> let's say the stock you buy the stock it's going up let's say you get 10 percent and then this guy or guru <laughs> in swing trading or whatever whatever he is doing you say to them okay exit 10 percent is okay it's good money and then if the stock goes down okay you are getting 10 percent now i'm asking I'm asking you this question how do you know that this stock will give only 10 percent Okay? It can go to 20%, 50%, 100%, 200% and more. Okay? Because the people when when you don't trade for a long time, when you don't have experience, when you don't practice a lot, you just we just you just uh, hear what the people say, but you you have no experience okay so you should experience by yourself and during many years you will begin to understand and has the full or the full whole picture of the trend this is the first mistake or the first myth that there is a percentage and you should exit this is not a true because if you exit at 10 and the stock after two months or three months or six months it goes to 100 percent what did you do you left the whole money on the table and you exit with little money is this trend following no you are doing a mistake because this guru or this person or even in books because sometimes uh, I get the idea that you don't understand uh, understand something about books anyone can write a book okay famous or not famous anyone right now can write an ebook he can, he can put it in ebook and he and uh, sell it or he can put it in uh, paper okay hard paper and he can sell it famous or not it's not that important okay the most important thing it is a book and you go to the library you find hundreds of books speaking about trends but sometimes you find some of these uh, people okay they just make a book from nowhere you can you buy you can read uh, uh, 10 books or 15 books and you make a summary and you publish your book okay it's your book and you become an expert but the problem is that you are not really buying stocks and you don't have experience so what you give is not true at all okay that's why here I'm trying to explain to you these myths that you find in books you find in gurus or you find in uh, or you find uh, even in uh, big uh, big TVs okay channels and and they speak about uh, something and most of these people especially when they are just analysts or uh, teachers in brokerage firm 
they have no experience about trading and maybe they have made no money or no dollar and they have never traded in the stock market I know some people who, who have been brokers okay because a broker what do you need to be a broker because some people are like thinking that broker is, is like a broker is just you get a series 57 okay just a series exam you know what you pass it you find a broker it accepts you then you become a broker okay they give you some information that you find in books and it is just general information about risk and it it tells you nothing about trading okay it means the mostly of the brokers they don't they exercise this activity of uh, analysts or broker or something why they do that it is just a job like any other job okay but it is not trading itself it means the people can never be a trader but he can be a broker and most of the broker are there are and they get this idea that I see a lot of disparate brokers analysts okay they can't understand what's going on into the uh, into the stock market that what they say they speak about fundamentals and the companies I say man go elsewhere go do investing if you know something about investing a trading is a totally different thing than investing so this these kind of guys all the information is mixed up in their heads so they can differentiate between investing and the trading okay so we have told you about the first myth which is take a percentage and exit the trade and that's it 10% or 7% or 5% or 20% okay let's say the stock has not reached percent 10% it goes to 5% and goes down and it goes to your purchase price and goes down and you lose money so are you going to to wait until you get this 10 percent or 50 percent 20 percent so try to take this idea of percentage in the trend itself try to take this idea because no one knows where the stock will be in one month or two months or six months no one knows so the idea of percentage is false there are other techniques that it is very simple to know the trend is continuing or it is not continuing and where you exit and this was I teach what I teach in training level 7 and I make a live video and we are in the fourth month I am still in the trade and each week I made uh, because some people they say oh you um, uh, you you have the trade you made and then you make videos no man I'm not doing that I'm doing it live and and all of you guys who have uh, seen my training training level 7 okay and uh, subscription anyone who, who is following me in my trade and we are discussing it and I will explain to them step by step why I am doing that and how I follow a trend okay this is I do it for uh, for real and live in a video and I publish it and you see it and each week if there is new information I publish new videos we are now in uh, video 15 and today I will uh, upload another video because there is new information and you might see them at the end of Friday or beginning of Saturday morning the video will be processed and you will see it okay now this is the first myth is percentage so percentage is false when you follow a trend don't for, forget about percentage there are other techniques that shows you where the stock will be and when it stops and when it doesn't give money and when it goes down and when it is a sell-off and when it is a, just a small correction all these things I explain into details in the training at least whenever you want to follow a, a trend a stock you will know what what to do at any moment okay the first myth now second myth that you should follow patterns in order to follow a stock 
following patterns is false is false by itself I will give you the proof because if they show you a way the stock it will do and then you will do something else you do an action now what each stock is different when it moves so this pattern that some people show you that the stock will do it will never do that it will do another pattern you see another stock it will, it will do another pattern pattern it means just the way the stock moves I will give you an example for example the stock um, moves uh, four days uh, green and then two days uh, red and then three days green and then one day uh, red and then five to, uh, five days green it means it's it's still going up this is a pattern but for me following the trend has not has nothing to do with patterns because each stock is unique it has its own pattern so if you want to do patterns you will do thousands and thousands of patterns uh, of patterns is the same as the stocks that are in the stock market so this is not a strategy to follow to follow stocks okay it's not strategy it is a bad strategy that's why some people they don't know I'm telling you because most of the time what will happen people who have never traded before okay they just get this uh, series 57, 57 or they read books or they are teaching at a brokerage firm or they are some gurus who have never traded before or uh, some people who are just analysts they have never traded before okay they just describe the past describe the past any stupid person can do it okay if I give you right now uh, a chart you see a stock is going is going into a long trend what do you say yes you just see the percentage you say oh this stock has 70 percent from last year and it is good and then you relate this to to you go to the company and you begin searching why and you say no no because the the CEO of this company is a very beautiful girl that's why the investors they like this girl that's why they like company that's why the stock goes up okay so and all the people who are following these guys they swallow these lies okay for hundreds of years because it doesn't it doesn't begin from now all what you see online like in TVs or you read in books or it has something to do with uh, with their business okay so you also if you want to do analysis you can do that you can go to any broker uh, you have your uh, series uh, 57 you become an analyst you become a teacher you become even if you don't know they will teach you some stuff uh, old, old stuff that they find in, in books and uh, okay they show you this and you begin and you become like uh, an instructor you've been teaching people but but in real you have never seen a stock or you have never been trading I'm not saying you, you make money no I am not, I'm just saying you you buy and you sell stock you have never done that okay and some people they become they become like uh, showing that they know they know something but in real they know nothing about the stocks because this it is an art it is some people who are daily in the market and they are buying and selling and they make money uh, through the stock market and these people are different from people who have never been there okay so the second myth that trends you should follow patterns this is false and I explain to you why because each stock has a pattern if you go for example right now take two stocks with a long trend check them you will find that they don't go the same okay if you if you follow patterns uh, if, if the stock do this you do this no it will no it will never happen and you will exit always the um, the stock without uh, without uh, without knowing when it stops and when you exit for good okay so these are two myths that I emphasize on 
There is another myth about time. And always they ask me the question, uh, how long do you stay in a trade? I say to them, okay, I don't know. I can stay one day when there is a gap up and there is a lot of money, so I exit or I sell half of my shares. When there is a big money, like a gap up, like uh, uh, I showed you before uh, with uh, Facebook in one of my trades, it goes $15 in one day. It means from the, from the afternoon to the next day afternoon, I'm getting $15. So $15 is, is a good month for me, for me, so I exit. Okay? So it can take a few days, one week or two. It can take uh, many weeks. It can take many months, and this is where I am with the trade that, that I'm still uh, in live in. I'm still holding that stock. It's four months. It's from the 1st of May I bought this stock. Now uh, it is the 31st of August. Tomorrow, is, uh, if God wills, it will be uh, the, 21st, uh, the 1st of September 2017. It means I have stayed May. June, July, August, four months, I'm still in. All my students, all my followers who have training level seven on subscription, they already, uh, they are already following me. At least, at least when they follow me, they rest assured that I know what I am doing, that uh, what I explain, even if, uh, if I exit the tr trade, even if it, it doesn't work or it is a loser, this you can see it in training level five, which is how to make money from stocks. I give you the concept. Because if you don't understand what I am doing, the concept, it has nothing to do with the trade itself. It is out of the trade. It is how I trade. It is the strategy, the whole strategy, uh, it's by itself. Okay? Now, so, if you ask me how long, in average, I tell you I don't know. If, a, if, a, if, if I buy today, tomorrow there is, uh, there is a gap up and there is a lot of money, and I exit, it's one day, okay? I buy today in the afternoon, I sell tomorrow in the afternoon, it means it's, it's 24 hours, I, I, I exit, okay? Or less than 24 uh, hours, because maybe in the afternoon, let's say I buy before the uh, earning date, tomorrow in the morning before the market opens, I can sell. If I see a lot of money, I can sell. Even before the market opens, so it is less than one day, less than 24 hours, okay? Now, I can stay a few days, I can stay many weeks, two weeks or three weeks or one month, I can stay many months, but I don't know where I exit. Now, what is the key in holding the stock for long? It is it has the same momentum and it's still going up. I'm not losing anything. I'm staying. The stock which we giving give me uh, gives me money. Why should I leave this and exit the trade and find another one? Since this one is giving me money, why I should go and make another commission and commission here, commission there, commission there? Okay. When I find a good one, I stay. Believe me. This is where I have my money for the year because you don't need a lot of stocks in the year in, in swing trading. You need only few stocks that you are good and the stocks are going good and that's it. You will make a nice percentage each year and that's it what I am doing. Okay? Now, if uh, you buy a stock and uh, you exit by stop loss, okay, forget about this because you attempt you think it's good and it is not. You are wrong, you exit. That's it. You don't stay uh, two weeks or three weeks. I don't stay when I'm losing money. Understand that. That's why I put stop loss. The first initial stop loss is obligatory for all the trades. Except, except when you have another strategy, uh, let's say uh, uh, trading from the support line and you have a mental stop loss okay this is something else I'm not speaking about that I'm speaking about general thing that's what I do in every every stock 
in every stock, I buy the stock at the end of the day, I put stop loss. Then I close my account. That's what I do always. I don't uh, buy a stock and, and I tell myself, tomorrow I put stop loss. No, I should plan this uh, before. Okay? Now, as I told you, this is the third myth that um, that uh, how long we should stay. Some people begin to say, oh, you should stay 10 days. This is swing trading. Sometimes you say 20 days, sometimes say 5 days. This is a short term. This is not investing. So they become, they, 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 they say something that they will never understand what they are saying. Okay? Because let's say you stay, you stay 10 days and the stock is not doing that much. What you should do? You should exit. And after you exit few days, few days more, the stock will go up and do good. So you are wrong. Because you exit and the stock is continuing to go up, it means you are wrong. And the way you do business is not good and you will not make money in the long run. You will be losing money. Okay? So these are the three basic uh, myths that you see about the trend. Now, my way of doing business, of following the trend, I use techniques. These techniques, they are not patterns. Okay? I don't see patterns. I see other things that guide me uh, through, uh, uh, through the trade. Now, if you, you want really to understand how I follow a stock for real, you go and you take training level 7. I give you the theory and give you examples and then I give you the live trade that I'm still in. We are in, in lesson 15 about this stock. So each, each day, each like uh, uh, one week or four days or five days or six days, I make a video on that day and I will explain to you how I see the future. Okay? And where I put my stop loss, where, when I move it, in what situation, okay? What should I see? All these techniques, they are very simple techniques, okay? Very simple techniques, but what do, what do you need? You need to practice. So it's not it's not theory. It's not uh, it's not something you you learn by heart, like uh, you learn uh, poems or you or you learn something by or you learn your uh, password. You learn it by heart. This is it. No, you should see stocks. You should buy stocks, live with the stocks, follow this kind of stocks. In you, by your experience, by following my strategies, you will use my techniques and you will see that it works in swing trading. Okay, here I'm all speak speaking about trend in swing trading. I'm not speaking about day trading or about investing because it's another thing. Okay, so um, for this, uh, to tomorrow is uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I have an exclusive 70% for videos and 80% for ebooks for those who want to uh, jump in and check, at least you check, okay? If it is good for you and you, f uh, you find something that you, um, that you are looking for, you continue with us. If you see that other providers or they, they have more uh, better training, okay, you can go to other because for me, I'm just trying to help as much as I can, at least, at least, at least they know the whole picture and at least they know what they are doing, which is the most important thing, to know what you are doing and why. Why you are doing this? Okay? It's, it's very, very important to know what you are doing because most of the people that are in the market, the, the biggest problem they face, they don't know what they are doing. You say, uh, you say to them, why you buy this stock? You say, because this guru tells me. Okay, which guru do you tell you? Did he tell you why we buy this stock? If he gives you a training, it's okay. Because when you, when you get a training, you understand what he's doing. And you, you have your own opinion. For example, if I am explaining how to follow trend, you have another idea better than me. You can tell me, oh, Karim, you do this and this and this. I think it's wrong. You should do this and this. And I can... We can debate this and explain why 
I use this and why it is beneficial for you than other thing. Okay, by proof. It is on the stocks. You see them by proof. Okay? It's not someone who send you a stock, he say, oh, this is a stock picks, just buy. Okay? Even in my subscription, when I teach you how to search for stocks, how to uh, buy the stocks and when to buy them, okay? I showed you why. It's according to my strategy. I will, I will show you all the details. I am not having the, the uh, what you call, the strategies for myself. And I just send you stocks and you say, don't ask me, just buy. This is, this is a stupid thing. And, but a lot, of, a lot of people, they still do it. They still to go to a, a newsletter or to subscriptions or whatever. And they just receive stocks. They buy, they lose. Sometimes they make money, sometimes they lose. But at the end of the year, they find themselves loser. And uh, if they want to, uh, to, to, to understand why, the provider doesn't give training why we use this why we don't use this some people especially for investing they use uh, stupid fundamental thing about the company that gold buy gold because gold is rare okay it is it is thousands of years and gold is rare it is <laughs> it has never been a, a lot in any period okay it's just because gold it is used in cell phones, in smartphones. Okay, we need a lot of gold. That's why the gold will be go up. Or because the Fed has done something, or because of that uh, thing, or because uh, someone t tells I will buy the whole gold of the world. You know, this is stupid fundamental thing that the people, they say in some websites, and they think they can, uh, they can, uh, uh, they can uh, succeed in doing this thing. Okay? So, um... Uh, thank you very much for watching. So, hope you uh, understood uh, something from my presentation of these three myths that I have explained. Now, uh, if you have some questions, please comment here on the comment section or send me a private message. Uh, you f you will find my uh, uh, you will find my uh, email and my description here on the top of the description. You find always my website. And my email, just send me an email if you have something, and we can discuss it. And if you are, if you are having, um, uh, for example, you ask about training or so, you can ask me questions, and we can go into uh, debate there. Okay? So thank you very much for watching, and hope uh, you have a good holiday this Monday. Hope for those who, uh, who are not working the weekend and uh, Monday which will be a very good uh, weekend and uh, hope you are okay and doing well thank you very much for watching and see you next time